Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Aramaic Bible study. These studies are intended for students of the Aramaic language in its many different forms. They are also intended for those who are interested in Eastern perspectives on Scripture, whether they be the Jewish rabbinical Targumic traditions or the Eastern or the Syriac Christian traditions on Scripture. Today, we will be looking at Genesis chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, and comparing the Targum versions to include the Syriac Pshita as part of that tradition. I've gotten us started uh, with the Hebrew verse for comparison across all accounts. The Hebrew reads, Vayumer Elohim yehi or vayhi or, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Targum Onkelos pretty much follows that. Amar Adonai yehi nohra, wehawa nohra. You'll notice the difference in the word light between Hebrew and Aramaic. There is a nun in the Aramaic tradition that is not present in the Hebrew. And for those of you who are students of Arabic, you will recognize this in the word nur, light. Targum Neophyti is really interesting. Well, it's always, it's the most interesting of the Targums, that's for sure. Uh, and it reads, Wa'amar memra the Adonai, Yehweh nahor, wa'hawath nahor, ke gizrat memre which translates to, and the word of the Lord said, let there be light, and there was light according to the decree of his word. Targum Jonathan reads, Wa'amar Elohim yehi nohra la'anhara elaya u'minyad hawa nohra. And that translates to, and the Lord said, let there be light to enlighten the expanse or the above, literally. And immediately there was light. Now the Syriac, Pshito, Wemar aloho, nehwe nuhro, wuhawe nuhro. And that's in the Western accent. In the Eastern accent, it would sound like, Wemar elahan, nehwe nuhra, wuhawe nuhra. And the Lord said, let there be light. And there was light. You'll find that the Syriac, Pshito, very closely parallels the Hebrew in a lot of different sections of scripture. But generally speaking, it's a, it's like onkelos. It's a very close translation to the Hebrew. And now in verse 4, um, we'll start again with the Hebrew. Elohim et ha'or kitov, vayavdel Elohim ben ha'or uven ha'choshek. And God saw that the light was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. Targum onkelos reads, Uchazza Adonai yath nohra aretov, wapfresh Adonai ben nohra, and the Lord saw the light was good, and the Lord divided the light from the darkness. So if you've already learned Hebrew and you're thinking about learning Aramaic, you know, whether it's biblical Aramaic, uh, Daniel Ezra, um, or Syriac or anything, by now, you know, we've looked at enough of the first couple of verses of Genesis to see how the cognates work, right? You see Nuhra and Or, then you also see Choshech, in Hebrew, and chashocha in Aramaic. So, very, very similar. Targum Neophyti, Ugalik dam Adonai yath nohra arum tavhu. Mepshar memra da Adonai be nohra uven chashocha. And it was revealed before the Lord that the light was good, and the word of the Lord separated the light from the darkness. Or divided, separated, divided. Technically, it's separated, but divide works too. Looks like there's a little metathesis in one of the versions here. Targum Jonathan reads, Uchaza Elohim yath nohra arum tov, wafresh Elohim ben nohra uben cheshucha. And God saw that the light was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. Finally, the Syriac Pshita, Rehzo aloho le nuhrod shafir, wafresh aloho bet nuhro le heshucho. That was the Western accent. Now in the Eastern accent. And God saw that the light was beautiful or radiant, and God divided the light from the darkness. So here, 
instead of using tov, which is a perfectly good Aramaic word, uh, the Syriac instead reads shafir, which generally we'll use it to mean beautiful, or really it has to do with like how bright and radiant something is. We'd use the word brilliant in English too, but you use it to describe people. And so maybe you've heard the name Shapiro before. Shapiro um, comes from this root, Shafir. So a lot of different interesting things going on uh, with Genesis 1, 3, and 4. It's small, it's bite-sized, but I think that, you know, it's one of these videos we could watch a couple times and, and just digest a lot of the similarities to really help us appreciate the differences or where there's divergence in, in the tradition of it. And clearly, like just going back to the Syriac real quick, uh, the choice for Shafir instead of Tov is really interesting, but it, it, it's definitely playing within the context of light, right? So light and brilliance are related concepts, but there's a type of beauty or goodness that is related to the idea of being bright or you know related to light itself. So that was a cool choice. Well, thank you all for watching. Do the algorithmic duties as you do, the like, share, subscribe, and help us elevate the Aramaic language. We want it to be as broadly seen and, and studied as things like Greek and Latin. So uh, go ahead and share it with your community and let's encourage more interaction with Aramaic itself. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.